Everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Double AC20. Double AC20. When deleting your opponent isn't enough. Okay, well we've gone ahead and done a lot of stuff between episodes. I sold a crap ton of vehicle parts. I assembled some vehicles. You're gonna be happy with what you see. Uh, in the mech bay, I've got the Talos being um, refit. So this mech is. Uh, coming online has no loadout yet but we're just repairing everything and getting the armor updated you'll notice I've got the three quick cell mechs here uh, they've come back and been repaired and been loaded out they were they varied between like 250 and 350 thousand to load them out and repair them so I went ahead and did that the the quick cell commando uh, 4 was our original mech so it was just bringing it back and putting weapons on it the loadouts are okay for what it, what they are to start. We're going to work on making them better, but for now, there's not unfortunately there's not a lot of quick sell items in them because I don't have a lot of quick sell items. I put in what I could that would work. So we're going to have to work on getting more quick sell stuff. So that's the goal with that lance. Uh, but the main lance, we're still going to run this as we are normally running uh, in the vehicle bays. Let's have a quick look here. I assembled the quick sell scorpion with double AC2s. Uh, just so that that can be in the quick sell lance. We'll run that with the galleon or the fire truck depending on what we're what we're doing. Uh, I assembled the cloud buster with the double large lasers because um, it has a pair of machine guns as well. So it's just a little bit better than the other version, than the rifled version. And then we've got the uh, double AC-20 Hetzer because I had Hetzer parts. So uh, I was able to assemble this guy. So we've got the uh, heavy three heavy machine guns and, and the uh, AC-20 double here. Uh, how much ammo do we have in this thing? The value ammo. So we've got 14 shots. So we've got s seven turns of firing, which is going to basically be we're going to shoot, we're going to drop our recoil, we're going to shoot, we're going to drop our recoil. So that's going to be a scoot in, fire, scoot away kind of vehicle. But I'm hoping that this lands a fair bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to expect with this thing. And it actually may end up, may end up being garbage, but I, I don't know. The fact that the double AC-20s can misfire and jam themselves, it's a large recoil, it's a large misfire chance. Um, but we have four slots for the double AC-20, so it can misfire like three times before it's no use. But I figure, you know, we're only going to have seven turns of firing anyway, so the chances of it actually misfiring all four times out of seven shots is going to be probably pretty slim, but we'll see how this goes, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play it out and just see how it actually manages to uh, to um, to play out in the long run. Now, uh, that being said, I haven't had a chance to have a look in the uh, command center yet. But in the barracks, uh, there's been a few minor updates to the pilots. Uh, you know, Junker got level 4. Uh, Jenkins is still waiting to get um, maxing out the gunnery here. We're going to go with that next. So, uh, Nuke is back That's now. Good, I waited till he was back to be able to uh, take this mission, and I think that was it. Uh, Venom gained. Um, we yeah we gained a invasion last time. I think it was Mongoose that we actually yeah. Yes, come on. So Mongoose is going to be piloting the um, the Hetzer. So I gave him the uh, focus fire with minus one recoil. Not that it matters. I mean, going from recoil eight to seven doesn't really make that much difference, but. Like I said, it's going to be zoom in, shoot, and zoom out. And that's We're going to go with that one. So, uh, that being said, let's have a quick look here at the command center. We'll have a look what we can do here. We've got to make some money. I don't really have much I can sell at this point. I'll, start, um, I'll be getting into items that I want to keep, which I don't want to be doing. Ooh, flare-ups. Oh man, do I really want to do? It's two skull. It's like the perfect level for us. It's it's good payouts. We'll 
we'll probably end up losing in the end because we're not going to be able to go like every three days, which is what this is asking. But the missions are relatively good. Or do I just take a, go this way, take a two skull here? Well, this one looks like a good one. Finally track down the Marian terrorists responsible for deadly attack on one of the of our facilities. There's, even though there's only two of them, they're extremely heavily armed and very, very dangerous. Okay, I can't not take that one now. It's too too skull. How bad could it really be, right? Right? Am I right here? We could get shredded. But let's hope we don't. All right, I'll take the galleon out, bring the cloudbuster down, and let's take the this guy out and bring the headser down. And we got to switch our pilots out here before I forget. So you can go out, you can go out, and you can go out. Road rash is fine. So nuke on the centurion, vengeance and the storm crow, and Jenkins in the QS Panther. Let's hope we don't die. Command interface initiated. Oh man, I got a really bad feeling about this. All right, they're behind the hill. Ready for action, Commander. Oh, okay, let's just have a quick look around here. All right, it is just two of them. Now, how do we want to approach this? We could come after them this way. We could use the hill. There's not much cover. I mean, it's darting up and darting back up on the hill. This way we've got a bit of room to maneuver. We still have the ability, like, so if we're on the hill, then we got to come down the hill and around to close with them. But if we're over here, we're still behind a ridge and we can actually move in. That doesn't look good to me. Let's uh, make sure we're behind the actual ridge. Uh, three, four, five, six. All right, let's find out what we're up against here. I'm not, uh... If it's just two of them, they're bound to be really good pilots, so let's hope it's not, though, Christ. Wait, what? Gallant Mark One. Oh my god, I have no idea what's... Oh, that's a lot of, uh... A Thunder Griffin. What the hell is that? This thing looks terrifying. With 1400 armor. Watch my stick. Well. Armor breach. Internal damage. At least the rest of the battle will be facing him. Hopefully. Waiting for orders. Right? We, we will be, won't we? All right, we got a reply to that, so. Ooh, I can't get, oh, that's better. That gets me in range or something. Man, the, the Viewmaster cockpit, I've been like getting so used to having that extra sight range, 80 meters. It really makes a big difference here. Zygarten is Zeus. All right, this guy's got to go first. The freaking vehicle's got more armor than this guy. Burn. All right, a little bit of hit on there. Not much, but it's a start. Yes, Commander. Can we get a solid line? Affirmative. I don't know how fast that vehicle is going to be. I don't think it's going to be that fast. Mm, 
I want to lay. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna lay off the mines for this one because I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go up on top of the hill. Firing on target. And fire down. So I want to take that position up there. Tags on. Ready for order. Okay, not too too bad, I guess. I'm only going to fire two to keep the recoil low so we can close and hammer them hard. Plus, we don't have that great of a chance to hit. Let's switch these up to EMP since we've only got one guy that will hit this guy with e much, as much EMP as we can to start here. That's fine. Okay. That should help out. Receiving you. All right, stealth. Trees, please. Understood. Moving fast. Shoot this guy with chaff as well. Uh, yeah. Firing all Ooh, nice large laser hit. Receiving you. Okay, let's get up to here. Going flat out. For this thing to have a best chance of working, um, this has got a fixed rate of fire. I guess so. All right, sure. Yeah, for that thing to have the best chance of success, we gotta make sure that uh, we're in real close with it. All right, we'll take a shot right, from over here. I should keep the Cloudbuster with the uh, with the heads here, but we're gonna just move it over here for a quick shot here early on. Okay, so that guy didn't move. 275, 300, 300. That's chunky armor, man. It's got LRMs. Alright, so it's just one LRM. Or it could be an MML. It looked like more than five, but less than ten, so it could have been seven. Could be an MML7. I'm interested to know what those ballistics are, though. So he's probably got an SRM, an MML. What'll be scary if that's actually a pair of 20s? I'm receiving you. That will be scary. All right, we're just going to go right up this guy's nose because that gallant's not actually supporting him, so we're just going to push him hard and take him down fast here. Giving everything I've got. Yeah, man, quick sell for the win. Standing by. Uh, that puts me too precariously close to that vehicle. Let's get up over here. Uh -huh. Much as I like the shot, that uh, side shot, we're going to go from the front here. I'm interested to see what our chance to hit is, too. But he, oh, 50%. You can't get... Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's actually... I, was, I thought it was going to be around 30. All weapons are go. Full miss, but that's fine. A critical hit. There's the misfire. Of course it's going to be misfire. So he's uh, damaged more on this side, so I'm actually going to take a weaker... We'll take the weaker chance to hit 
No shooting, just running. Just because we're gonna hit him from the side and we're gonna hit this damage components here. He's probably XL. I mean, he might not be, but... Uh, I'm gonna hang on to the Thunderbolt. We want to use that against the vehicle, I think. I copy. Ooh, nice. Commander. What do you want to do here? I think you want to kind of do, try and do the same thing if we can. I gotta be shooting by my own guy though. I think I would rather go with a solid tone on this. Let's take a shot. Uh, we already hit you with that. It was two turns, so we're going to use the SRMs. Tags on again. Waiting for orders. Get to there. I don't know where the Centurion's going to end up, though. Okay, turn the machine guns up to five. Targeting for an alpha strike. Nice hit. Come on, bail out. Reporting critical hit. I'd love to get pick up that Griffin. Receiving you. Although if it's only got two, bl if it's only got two um, hard points, then I don't really care. Okay, full speed it is. It probably only has two hard points. All right, same thing. Two shots. Uh, yeah. Engaging target. Let's see what he does here. He's not generating too, too much heat, even with the mag pulse. He probably has a double heat sink kit, and that PPC and the uh, LRMs aren't uh, enough to, to spill him over, even with the EMP. Where are you going? No, well, that was five, it looked like. Reporting minimal damage. So he's got Artemis ammo. That's a lot of, that's a lot of ammo. He's fleeing. He's fleeing the interview. Commander. Uh, we've got an opportunity here. That's more of a solid line. Moving to position. We've got an opportunity to take some shots at this guy. This Griffin's pretty much done, but I think we take the shot. We got a back shot on this guy, so let's do it. AC-10 Mirdrin. There's probably a pair of those. LRM-10 Delta. Oh, it could just be one and four machine guns, but I think yeah, it's probably go. two. Out of SRMs. Standing by. You don't have the range for him. Uh, let's hold for you for a second. Because I want to see who else. Yes, Actually, where's where can Nuke get yeah. to? What can I do you for? Nowhere. Let's go to here though. Double time. Let's go. That should get us over the hill next turn. Standing by. You should be able to get up here, though. Let's get in here. Alright, so it's an AC-10... ...flak bus, basically. Let's get some chaff on him. On it. Okay, another big hit. Nice. He's plus one to hit now, or minus one, whatever it is. Yeah, we're hitting the side and the back. Okay. Yes, boss. Wow. That's that recoil. So we got one shot, and then we become completely ineffective. 
Let's pull into here then. That'll allow us to drop our recoil and hopefully dart in next turn and get a get an ass shot on that guy. Yes, Commander. Cloudbuster is not going to be in range. Oh, it will be. Okay, let's get up here. Confirm. Let's get our dancing spider up here. Take a shot at this guy. Good angle. Fire it. Yeah, but you can't make connect, could you? That's a miss. I'm glad I took Ready this mission. Orders. I mean, it could have ended up being really bad, but. Confirm. We can hopefully get some good salvage out of this. Uh, I think that's going to be our shot. Because we're not going to kill this thing. But we can do significant damage to this guy, so let's do that. Got it, Commander. Keep the pressure on. Zeus crit, engine crit. Critical hit, Commander. Get the hits, get the crits, baby. All right, when are they going here? 25 for the vehicle. Let's see if he turns around. He might actually turn around now. I really hope this Hetzer hits. It would be nice to hit it both in the same location to take 200 armor off. Yep, that's the Myrd, Myrdron, whatever it is. He backed up and fired, eh? He probably only has one then. It's actually not a bad vehicle. It's gonna go indirect, are you? Not much armor left in that location. How's that working out for you? Orders. Receiving you. Go here. Location confirmed. Let's take the shot. Let's hope we land with that thunderbolt. He's keeping his ass to us, so. Firing at enemy's nah, just the thunderbolt. All right. Well, we did some good damage, though. I'm out of LRN. Yes, commander. It's you know who. Rolling. Well, let's just show this guy the error of his ways. Enemy Kick destroyed. down opponents almost twice your size. What's up, boss? Uh, let's stay in the trees here. But we will push in a little bit to give us our medium lasers a better chance to hit. I think this guy's going to continue to run, but we're going to keep hitting him with chaff, I think. Got it. It's unfortunate we're hitting the side and not the back, but... I mean, well, the side's got less armor, but... I'm shooting from the back, so I was really hoping we'd be hitting the back. What's ever. Okay, now we got the AC2 here. Or the rotary two. Well, I got a shit chance to hit though. Let's just keep it at two until we get closer. Let's switch this out to LK though. Better chance to hit. Pocket lock on enemy six. Smattering of damage. Good to go. Thirteen, huh? I think we're still having an issue with recoil. Let's get to here. I mean, it, it was seven recoil. So, I mean, it's probably going to take a few turns to drop it anyway. Let's pull here and give this guy something to shoot for. All right, 50%. That's pretty good. All right. All right, we landed one. Probably on the back. 
If we have to chase this guy down, though, yeah, it was a back shot. I'm gonna be so pissed if we have to, like, chase him across the map. Although, it just means we can get to continue hit. Obviously, shoot him from behind. Yeah, we do have to continually fire him. Yep, he took the bait. Okay. Right here. Unless we can somehow miraculously kill this guy this turn, he's gonna get another shot off at us. Um. Yeah. Got the ang. Taking the shot. I don't want to get too carried away with the rotary until we get a half decent tone lock on him, you know? Full speed. No, no target. target. Oh, we got a target, alright. He's right there. Firing full complement on enemy. Okay, at least the tag's on. Commander? Yep, let's stay in the fight. Understood. Moving fast. He's probably going to shoot for me next turn, but because he knows that the locked on rear armor. He knows the quick sell threat. See? Waiting for orders. Got shot by a quick sell mech. And now he's unsettled. Seventeen only, eh? Don't think it's going to get much better. Let's start in for a shot, see what we can do here. Well, it's going to be bad too because of the misfire. 30, so it's not... I mean, it's still bad, but see what happens. On it. Oh my god, he oh, hit! Yeah. <laughs> Target eliminated. So satisfying! Oh. Is that it? Wait, what? Standing by. Standing by. Did they get reinforcements or? Yeah, there is. All right. Dropship coming in fast and low. It's the other team. Let's just see what they are. Uh, let's not get too carried away, though. Let's get into there. Let's put you up here. Uh, Centurion into play here. The stealth. Uh, let's get ourselves back here. Heading out. Cloudbuster. Here. Moving out. I really want to make sure we're turned. That's probably good. Oh, that was so satisfying, that double AC shot. So much damage. And we did hit the side, too. Like, the first the first shot took the right, remaining parts of the armor off and just blew right through the side. Ooh, what do we got here? This is the Coyote Bounty Hunters. Commander, still no response. Expect to be fired on. And watch you don't get caught between them and the targets. What targets? Oh my god. Helopolis. Sniper. SRM-6. Okay, he's got to go fast. Regular Dervish. A Phoenix. Why are they worried about these guys? Waiting for orders. I mean, they can still do damage to us, but I mean... Let's burn this Helopolis first. We all go before him, so let's see if we can kill this guy. I'm gonna use the chaff on him, just in case he does get to go. But we don't we have Helopolis parts already? I'm receiving you. Or am I think I'm thinking something else, aren't I? What am I thinking? No shooting, just running. It's not the Helopolis, it's the uh Crap. Everyone's probably screaming at the TV. 
not the Helopolis. I can see the mech in my mind's eye or like whatever. Affirmative. But I can't verbalize the name. It's... I don't remember. Oh, brain. Having a brain fart. Oh, nice shot. Okay, tags on. Something I can do. Yeah, let's um show this Helopolis. The toy that we picked up. Uh let's wait till after this turn. Um nothing's really gonna help us when against this guy. Target acquired. Alright, damage is good. Let's do this. Let's pull into the trees Double here. Time. Let's go. Drop a little more re I mean, I don't think we have any recoil left to drop, but in, in my head, I'm like, yeah, we'll just drop some recoil by going into the trees. He's probably going to get shot up by the Holopolis, but we can dart in next turn. Oh, there was another guy there. A Clint. Waiting for orders. Get the Cloudbuster over here. Holopolis again, please. Both machine guns on. Firing. Fire it. At least we got some splash over onto the Clint. So, oh, I don't know what salvage wise is left of this vehicle. The vehicle's nice. It's a little slow though. But now that, I mean, I don't know, the Holopolis is there. The rest of this stuff is not really. I don't know what they're doing. Why aren't they shooting at me? Maybe because they're trying to see if the enemy's here? Maybe they don't get sh I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you better back up. How's it going? What do you think, buddy? You want to score another kill? Let's see if we can put something into somebody's Wait, face on. here. I have an extra head so far. I'm not that worried. I am worried. I don't. I don't want to lose this vehicle, but still. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, even the Phoenix. But you know what? I hate blackjacks more, and we have a better chance to hit against the blackjack. So let's see if we can pull off this shot here. It hit and did almost no damage. How did he have... How did we reduce the damage from... I don't... I don't... Yes, Commander. I'm confused. I don't know how we got the damage reduced down that low. Alright, you've got mostly... most damage on this side. Can I get to that side? I can't really. We can go here. Let's move. I wonder if I tar I'm gonna target the Clinton. Well, maybe not. That's a lot less chance to hit there. He's got the pirate. Okay, you know what? We're gonna actually target the Clint, because his pirate AC5 is on the other arm. And if we can blow through this side and kill him. In the next couple of turns. Okay, nice hits. Then we can claim that pirate AC5 is our salvage. Solid connection on that one. That would be a nice piece of salvage. Receiving I think. Neil. Just gonna walk into here, and we're gonna try and get this Helopolis. Yeah, that's good. Let's switch this around to SRMs though. Acknowledged. We stick with the LRMs and might hit the Panther, so. 
Oop, head, head, nice. What's up, Commander? Can we get... I don't think we can get a side shot from anywhere over here. No. Let's walk it in a little bit. Now. Yeah, let's give this guy a bad day. I'm going to go to four. Uh, we'll leave the LK on. Well, that was a nice splash over onto the Clint, too. That was pretty nice. Not a lot of damage, but still pretty nice. How are you holding up here? Okay, we can get that torso. Orders. We can get that. Heading out. All right, let's finish this guy up if we can. Firing on target. AC hits. Yep, there we go. Hostile eliminated. That's what happens when you play around with the big boys. I'm shocked at this, though. Why was it only 31 damage? So if he's braced in the trees... Like, even if the double AC only does, like, 80 per hit. I don't know. Yes, Commander. I'm at a loss for that one. I don't know that one. Can we get a side shot in that, Clint? We can. Can we get a... We got good tone. We can. Beautiful. Let's get into here. I'll take that. Got blue tone. Firing. Ooh, we get the leg. Good damage to the leg, though. Guard a critical hit. Like I mean, if he's braced in the forest, that's sixty percent damage reduction. So that must mean that our ACs are doing ninety each. Like each hit is ninety, which would kind of make sense. I think that's par for the course for a double for an AC. Oh, thanks for clearing the way for me, buddy. Appreciate it. I think it's time to pull the mine layer off of the uh, the uh, Phoenix, not the Phoenix, the uh, Storm Crow. I think we'll pull it off and we'll put the we'll put a uh, I don't know like a five ton rocket pack on there or something like that because the mines are just getting in the way now. When like mine layers aren't bad if you're using them in bulk, but once you reach the kind of like medium mech, medium heavy mech range. They cease being as effective as um, they would be as the, if you were fighting against light mechs, right? At least that's what I find. That's a back strike. We don't want that. We do want the side strike, though. Let's see if we can kill this guy through the side. Should be able to claim him here, I think. Firing all weapons. a critical hit apparently not ready for orders all right who do we want you know who we want what type of mech do we hate the most that's right the blackjack taking the shot nice hits that's his CT open I think Good to go Let's exploit that opening, if we can. Yeah, because if we had, I mean, if I pulled that, the uh, mine dispenser off, put a, I think it's a, a uh, rocket pack 10. For shots like this, or whatever, it would be uh, well worth it, so we didn't hit the CT. Roger. I think we did that time, though. Sure did. Good to go. Get around to here. Acknowledged. This Hetzer seems to be less of a threat than uh, the other, the one with the Ultra Twenty. Ooh, that's nice. Something good. Got the medium rifle. It's good to go. All 
All right, who do we want to kill here? Let's just bring this guy down, I think, if we can. Uh, I'm gonna take the rotary off for a second. Drop some recoil. I don't think it's gonna help too much with the, um... Get the kill? Yep, we did. It's just trying to figure it out. That was a that was a core meltdown. <laughs> if you can't tell. Oh man. That's gotta suck. He's not having a good day. What the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, the uh, the headser with the Ultra 20 seemed to get like constantly targeted, but this headser not so much. Like I mean like the mechs would go out of their way to target the uh, the Hetzer. But they don't seem to be doing that, th 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 this one. Okay, let's delete this guy. Acknowledge. Or not. I thought at least both those large races would hit. Is this guy standing in fire? He is. Sure. Why you would just use your okay, whatever. Commander. These guys don't know what to do now. Well, that's a pretty good shot. We'll take that one. We'll take that. Let's get rid of this Phoenix if we can. My god, this thing is so unreliable. Commander. Unreliable unreliable to the point of unreliability. Location confirmed. I know that doesn't really mean anything, but Alright, let's just hammer this guy. I copy. Wow. There you go. There's another set of unreliability for you. Ready for orders. These guys are idiots. Why is it taking so long? Got it, Commander. It's just taking too long. Oh my god, and you missed two. With like 90% chance to hit and you still miss. One less target. Got the kill though. Yes, boss. Reli he was relying 100% on the quick sell mech to get that kill. Oh man. Yes, I'm there. That's uh seventy four on this guy though. Let's try and secure the kill here. Target lock, lock, lock. See ya. <laughs> oh. I can salvage that. <laughs> oh it's so Oh, it's so yeah. satisfying. Uh, I gotta be careful because this gun splatters like everywhere. Uh, that's probably better. Full speed, no shooting. Got it. Let's go with the uh, EMP. Taking the shot. I mean, it doesn't matter. This guy runs ridiculously cool. I'm out of long range missiles. All right, who's left? I'm receiving you. Venom. Let's just spread over here. Affirmative. Let's just finish this up. See what he's doing. He's pretty much an SRM-2 range for everybody, so I don't know if he's going to fire everything or... Yeah, the SRMs. How's it going? Could you, uh... No, you can't. Roger. Venting heat and stabilizing. Everybody goes before this guy, though, so let's, uh... Moving out. Try and murder this guy from behind if we can. That's pretty good. 
There we go. I think he just gave up. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Well, that was an interesting mission for two skulls, I gotta say. That's a good payout. We barely took any damage from that. Centurion did take... What did we lose in the scent? Oh, we got rotary damage. That's right. We'll have to, that just gets repaired, though. That thing has got, like... I think it's got, like, six... It's got six slots, right? Yeah, six slots. So it, it will get damaged six times before it's completely destroyed. So it's not too bad. I mean, you can use that a fair bit. We got some internal damage here. Uh, what do we get? Just internal structure, internal structure damage? Or did the hybrid Q... Yeah, this got hit. So... That's no problem. Two kills for the uh, Panther. It's not bad. Hets her, man. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, man. And I, any vehicle with an Ultra 20 that can score hits is just good. Okay, we could get the full Gallant. One, four machine guns, SRM-2 and LRM-10. The only, I mean, 3.5. The only thing good about this is the armor. And I think if we were up in heavy range right now, that would be a good grab. But I think at this point, there's only two Griffin parts, right? Can we... Let's have a look at the storage here. So we don't have any parts that would match with this Griffin. We don't have any Holopolis parts, but there's only one part there, so it's not really worth it. Um, punch kick damage stability. Punch accuracy, punch damage. So... I mean, two ballistic, two laser, and one missile, plus two support hard points. That's actually quite good. I'm going to drop both of those in there for now. This is actually not a bad... Oh, the AC-5 pirate. I think we definitely want that. The rest of the stuff, I think, is just pretty much... Artemis system is pretty much garbage. Double plus... Ooh, gyro. That's kind of actually really nice, too. That's kind of like a... Uh, you know, I don't want to say a melee gyro, but pretty pretty close to it because it's like... You can run in with, with good evasion. And then have a defense against being, like, punched back, right? So... Although this is really nice, too. AP ammo... Uh, yeah, but I think that's the way we go here. This is going to go straight on the, uh, this will go straight on the, um, Centurion. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of other things I would like, but I mean, I think this is probably the best choice. So let's go this route. All right, we got a Clint part, which means we can put a Clint together now. We got two Gallon parts. So that was, I, th I thought there was three there for a second. Got the Holopolis and Phoenix part. Toronto laser can go. SRM2s can go. Case, how many of this do we have? We got one. Let's hang on to it. Endo I've burned through already. I put it on the three um, Quicksell mechs. Uh, jump chest we don't need. Wow, we got, we got screwed on the roll, though. Holy crap. I'll hang on to that just in case. Well, a lot of parts. It'd be nice if we can get another gallant, though. Or another gallant part at some point in the future. Okay, 53,000 in damage, which is really nothing for us. That's pretty good, actually. Could have been way worse. So let's have a look at our tasks here. Let's make sure our main mechs are at the top. And they are. Let's get the Centurion and the, probably the Panther back. First, that's three days. So five and four. Bring that one down so that can get back and out of the queue. All right, so not bad. That wasn't too bad. So um, just so you guys know, too, um, the kit box that we had in storage, I brought it forward because I was just inter interested in to see... 
what um, it was. And unfortunately, it was, since it was a pirate version, it didn't have anything on it, um, which was really sucky. Uh, it's, not, it was, it's not an Omni at all. So I just trashed it. We ended up with like, I think it was like a compact heat sink and I don't know. We didn't get much out of it. Uh, although this guy, let's just ready this and get rid of it. That neck you asked for is cleared for fighting. All right, let's see what it's got. Looks like the core is still there. That's good. We can sell that eventually. Make some, make some coin off that. Oh, the pirate AC5 and the ammo. Wow. Um, okay, bonus. I won't say no to that. So that's two pirate AC5s now. So that opens up an interesting, I, interesting build. Hundred and fifteen thousand to scrap it. So now we should have. Oops, components. We should have a pair of pirate AC5s. Which we can use. At 16 tons though, I mean it would have to be on a heavy mech at least, but at least, like if we had like a rifleman or something along that line, that could work out to be a really nice overheater. And those, um, I had a look at those uh, plasma cannons, the pirate plasma cannons are 10 tons, I didn't realize that. But still, like I mean that's it's still, this op op opens up opportunities for an overheater mech as well, right? So, 70% bonus damage to overheating targets, which is not really a lot when you consider the damage is only 15, so you're like doing 25 instead, but still, it's it's not bad. It adds up over time, especially if somebody is shut down, right? So, I mean, yeah. Let's go to storage real quick. Let's just see if there's anything else we can ditch here. I've been holding on to the other, like most of these mech parts because we're close to assembling a lot of them. So the yellow jacket, I still haven't decided whether we want to go with the plasma version. So if I bring this forward, there's the plasma cannon version. Uh, then there's the MML 20 version with mine layer 10 and a medium chem. And this guy here is pretty much, it's not bad either, but it's got a lot less armor I believe like 90 right as opposed to 100 and something yeah 145 in the front not that it matters because they hit the side from the front most of the time anyway so yep yeah, well that's the end of this one I think we'll just end it here and when we come back oh yeah I also I went in and I spent some money on the uh, the low G up, upgrade it's plus three uh, plus three morale plus one medical so that'll help out overall as well too. And I figured it was cheap enough. It was only like three hundred and something thousand, so it wasn't it wasn't that expensive. And we had the C bills at the time. Looks like we're going to have the C bills too, because the end of the month is still twenty days away, and that was a good mission. There's still more in the uh, thing here, so I think I want to try and take uh, this two and a half skull uh, base defense. Who is this against? Local government forces in the Highlands. So it's a map we're familiar with. And with the lands as we have it now, it might be worthwhile attempting that. that one, although this one is against who? Local government. We can get some good salvage off that probably as well. This one's two and a half. I don't know. I think two and a halfs now are a little I iffy for us. So that's against the rim world. Two is probably where we're at right now. Two and a half for a base defense is is acceptable as well. And there's a chance for good salvage on this one. So I think I, I, I think we go this route for the next next episode against local government forces, which usually aren't as strong. There might be some quick sell stuff in there. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Remember, go check out the web Quick Sell website. Until next time, we'll see you later.